objectives. Describe occupational health and safety. Determine the three steps to manage health and safety at work. Identify the common computer-related hazards. Occupational health and safety. It is a planned system working to prevent illness and injury where you work by recognizing and identifying hazards and risk. Health and safety procedure is the responsibility of all persons in the computer and technology industries. Eliminate the hazard or modify the risk that is present. Steps used to manage health and safety at work. Spot the hazard or hazard identification. Assess the risk or risk assessment. Make the changes or risk control. Spot the hazard. A hazard is anything that could hurt you or someone else. Examples, frayed electrical cords could result in electrical shock. Boxes stack precariously. They could fall on someone. And noisy machinery could result in damage to your hearing. 2. Assess the risk. How likely would the hazard harm me or someone else? Or how badly could I or someone else be harmed? 3. Make the changes. In school, there are times when you may be able to eliminate simple hazards yourself as long as you don't put yourself or others at risk. For example, you can pick things up from the floor and put them away. What is a hazard? A hazard is a situation in the workplace that has the potential to harm the health and safety of people or to damage plant and equipment. Common computer-related hazard. Hazard management is a continuous process that can be used to improve health and safety in all workplaces. Physical hazards. One of the most common physical hazards involving computer users is cables running across the floor. If you need to temporarily run a cable across the floor, Place a danger sign similar to those wet floor signs used by cleaning services. For cables that are temporary that will need to run across the floor for a few weeks, use gaffer tape. Gaffer tape is a heavy tape with strong adhesive to stick to the floor. For long-term cable routing, there is a wide variety of cable organizing devices like cable ties, cable wraps, and cable raceways that can be used to run cable safely along the wall or ceiling. For computer users such as call center agents and telemarketers, long periods in front of the computer can also cause harm in different body parts. Back pains, muscle pains, stiff neck, cramps, and headaches may also occur if the pressure and sitting for long hours is not addressed immediately. Constant typing, use of the mouse, and gaming pads may lead to conditions such as carpal tunnel syndrome, which may be caused by hand strain. Mechanical hazards When working on electronic equipment, ask yourself, is there any way this equipment could hurt me? Simple printing, troubleshooting. For example, might do you harm if you stick your hand in the printer and the paper feed arm suddenly moves? Feeding not only paper through the printer but a piece of your finger too. When working on electronic equipment, always be alert to any possibility of being hurt by moving parts, hat components, or sharp edges. Chemical hazards 
There is a wide array of chemicals used with electronic equipment. These include display cleaning chemicals, keyboarding cleaning chemicals, compressed gas dirt and dust removers, and many cleaning solvents. Some of this can be harmful if accidentally swallowed, come into contact with bare skin, or get in the eyes. Always read the warnings and instructions on the label before using any chemicals for electronic equipment. Also, be very careful when dealing with inkjet printer cartridges or laser printer toner cartridges and ink containers for printers with a continuous ink system. Ink and toner can stain skin, clotting, and surfaces. Electric shock hazard. Inside computers and electronic equipment, there is a range of voltages from 3.3 volts to 25 volts, most of which are harmless. But at the power supply, you will find line voltage, which is a little 220 volts. The workplace should have safety guidelines to follow to protect people from injury, protect equipment from damage, and protect the environment from contamination. Here are some OHS guidelines you need to observe. 1. Clean the area before and after using it to maintain sanitation and prevent accidents. 2. Handle all electrical equipment carefully. 3. Check all signal pins and alignment to avoid incorrect connections. 4. Do not use excessive force if things do not quite slip into place. 5. Do not clean equipment with wet cloth or any liquid detergents. Use an air duster or blower instead. 6. Do not eat nor drink when working near your computer. 7. Do not move the computer system while it is switched on. 8. Hold cards by the edges to avoid touching chips or the edge connectors on the expansion cards. 9. If there is a need to open the system unit, unplug the power connector from the socket when working on your computer to avoid accidents. 10. Recognize contingency measures during workplace accidents, fire, and other emergencies. 11. Always pull the cable connector on the handle and not on the cable itself. 12. Identify hazard and risk in the workplace and their corresponding indicators to minimize or eliminate risk to co-workers, the workplace, and environment. 13. Read and follow instructions on the manual carefully. Fire Safety Guidelines Know the location of fire extinguishers, how to use them, and which to use for electrical fires and for combustible fires. Find an escape route in case a fire gets out of control. Know how to contact emergency services quickly. Keep the workspace clean and keep solvents in a separate area. Netiquette. Although the internet is an open source for most of your needs, there are still limitations on its use. It is therefore beneficial to remember some guidelines to follow when browsing the internet. Respect is an important word to remember in the use of the internet. R stands for responsibility. Be responsible in all your actions. It is a virtual public place where everyone has access to almost anything. Therefore, 
Do not post indecent pictures nor write degrading or offensive expressions that may lead to misunderstanding or compromise your credibility. Be responsible enough for your own security by not arranging meetups with strangers. E stands for etiquette. Observe proper etiquette when using the internet. No foul words, cursing, or other similar acts. Be aware that writing in all caps gives an impression of strong feeling which is comparable to shouting. S stands for stealing. Stealing the work of others is illegal. Using someone else's work without permission or without proper attribution of sources as an example of this. Most of the time, we are unaware that we are violating a person's intellectual property rights in the conduct of such act. P. Personal information should not be given to strangers. This includes your personal contact numbers, credit card information, passwords, school information, your whereabouts, and the like. E. Entering or breaking into computer systems, technically known as hacking, is another no-no. C. Copyrighted materials and copyrighted computer programs and other multimedia materials such as movies and songs are governed and protected by the law. Use them without permission from the writer or owner means that you are violating their rights and you may be penalized. Philippine Copyright Law is enshrined in the Intellectual Property Code of the Philippines, officially known as Republic Act No. 8293, Chapter 6, Section 178, and the Optical Media Act officially known as Republic Act No. 9239, which protects music, movies, computer programs, and video games, offenses and penalties under Chapter 4, Section 19. T. Threats such as viruses may be acquired through indiscriminate downloading of programs from untrusted and unreliable internet sources. Remember to scan first with an antivirus software before running a program or opening files. Assessment number 1. Working in front of the monitor for long hours may cause eye strain is an example of A. Physical hazards B. Chemical hazards C. Mechanical hazards D. Electric shock hazard The answer is A. Physical hazards Number 2 This is a situation in the workplace that has the potential to harm the health and safety of people or to damage plant and equipment A. Accident B. Hazard C. Threat D. Destiny The answer is B. Hazard Number 3 When working on electronic equipment, always be alert to possibility of being hurt by moving parts, hot components, or sharp edges are example of A. Physical hazards B. Chemical hazards C. Mechanical hazards D. Electric shock hazard The answer is C. Mechanical hazard Number 4 Inside computers and electronic equipment, there is a range of voltages Power supply has a line voltage which is a little 220 volts are examples of A. Physical hazards B. Chemical hazards C. Mechanical hazards D. Electric shock hazard The answer is D. Electric shock hazard Number 5 
Be very careful when dealing with ink and toner that can stain skin, clothing, and surfaces which consider as an examples of A. Physical hazard B. Chemical hazards C. Mechanical hazards D. Electric shock hazard The answer is B. Chemical hazard